Uh, according to Herring's attorney, the victim followed his client home to this street, not far from Cane Run Road. Now, as you mentioned, we were in court just a short time ago. That's when Herring made her first court appearance. And that's when we learned, Monica, more about this case. In arguing for a lower bond, Herring's attorney said his client acted in self-defense that after the victim followed Herring home and approached her with some type of object in her hand. It was her own property. There were threats. She had a person who had followed her home. She had called the police. There was no response, no help. She's there by herself with somebody who's approaching her with an apparent object, uh, and she did what she needed to do. Now, after hearing from Nick Newman, Herring's attorney, the judge ultimately lowered the bond from $100,000 to $25,000, but Herring remains in jail, Monica, and at last check, the victim was listed in critical condition.